Príjemný deň všetkým fanúšikom basketbalového klubu BC Prievidza a vítajte pri piatom dieli talkshow zvanej Pod krídlami. Aj v novom roku budeme pokračovať a prinášať vám čo najviac spoza opony basketbalového klubu BC Prievidza a takisto sa budeme zaujímať o hráčov, asistentov, trénera, trénerov a takisto bude pre vás pripravená aj špeciálna edícia, ktorá nechajte sa samozrejme prekvapiť. Ako môžete vidieť, po mojej ľavej strane sedí hráč, ktorý na svojom drese nosí číslo 55 a je to teda Zlatko Jovanovic. Zlatko, hello, welcome here. Hello. Feeling comfortable? Yeah, everything is okay. Yeah. okay. Budeme mať pripravené dve kola otázok. Tie prvé sú samozrejme tou povinnou jazdou, tie druhé sú vaše divácké otázky a samozrejme Zlatko nakoniec povie meno jedného, ktorý získa dve vstupenky na nasledujúci domáci zápas. Takže myslím si, že všetko bolo na úvod zodpovedané. Práve teraz prichádza ten čas, aby Zlatko Jovanovič odpovedal na otázky, či už ktoré vás budú zaujímať, alebo vaše fanušikovské otázky. Zlatko, welcome again. We have uh, seven questions in the first round, ok? So uh, we will start with the first question for you. If you can tell for the fans of Krivica, where you start your career, uh, why do you choose basketball, also the beginnings and the achievements of the beginnings. Uh, ok, first of all, I want to say hi to all fans from Krivica. Uh, about question, uh, I start, let's say, like a kid, you know, you play every time football. I mean, in Serbia, in our countries, and Bosnia also, uh, first of all, when you take the ball, you play football. I started with football, but let's say my sister, like older sister, she was playing basketball. And you know, like a younger brother who is just doing the same thing, what sister is doing. If she played volleyball, probably I would play volleyball, but she was going into basketball, so I was following every day on practices and blah, not because I was crazy about basketball, because she was going there. But some suddenly, somehow I started to like it more and more. And immediately I started, I was like, I think second, second year in my primary school, like with nine years old, I started to, to play ball. And you know, also my father was, was ex basketball player. And Somehow I start, I continue, I start to love, to love, to love. Suddenly I quit with football. I just decided to play basketball and let's say now I'm 36 and still I'm in, in the game. And uh, about the question where I start, I start in my hometown. I'm from Novi Beče, it's some small town in a part of Serbia, Vojvodina, close to Novi Sad. I start over there and uh, I don't know, still I'm, I'm really proud of my small city because I don't want to talk too much, but we have two national team players, Zoran Ercek, who's playing in CSKA in Euroleague, and me, who's playing for both the national teams. So basketball is famous in our small city. Uh, you've been played in many countries. Uh, we know it's about 15 countries you have been played. Uh, so which country of uh, basketball and uh, which culture you have the biggest effect on you? Uh, let's say it's a bit difficult question to choose one. You know, normally each country makes something, I don't know, to, to remind something good. Uh, I need to say uh, about some countries, I cannot choose one. Maybe the m most interesting country that I played was Iran. Let's say Asia, Iran, different, different culture, everything. When I was going there, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to think about basketball. But when I when I land there in Tehran, when I, when I see everything, I was even more shocked. <laughs> completely strange country, completely strange uh, way of uh, practicing, uh, way of playing basketball. But uh, on the end, after three seasons over there, uh, I, I, I just can say it's completely, completely, completely crazy. A lot of fans, a lot of wild fans. Yes. A lot of crazy games. Uh, like you play the game, and in one moment they just they just come, they just stop with the game. The, military is coming with the guns and something like yeah. that it was these situations in that moment was really crazy and maybe i was afraid a bit but now when i remember it was really good and now i have a lot of memories but the other countries is also like i said i'm from serbia but half of my family is from bosnia and bosnia also make a big impact on my career because my beginning was was in bosnia yes. right now i have a lot of friends i was playing for national team and maybe bosnia is the, the most beautiful memories for me. Uh, Romania also five years there. Uh, there we, we we won a lot of things like some really important cups. We play a lot of European um, this uh, 
competitions. So everywhere was good, everywhere was nice, and I just can't remember good memories. Like, but Iran may be the most most interesting. Uh, when you look uh, for a few years back, and uh, when you look uh, to the present right now, uh, when if you can say uh, from your opinion the difference in the game when you start playing basketball. Maybe the difference in Bosnia, in Iran, and now in Slovakia. Can you say the biggest differences between these countries and also yeah. the, the type of playing basketball? Well, let's say, yeah, yeah, that's a good good question, type of playing basketball. Like, even I think 10 years ago, 10, I would say 15 years, basketball was, let's say, a lot of tactics. Even now, it's still about tactics. A lot of tactics, a lot of practices, how we're going to do this, how we're going to do this. But right now a lot about athletism now it's if if you have good body if you invest in your body um, i think you can play it's not uh, it's not strange when you when you see lebron james like when, when he said like he's putting two millions during the summer for his body and every say everybody said why he's doing this this is because you cannot play now without uh, really good body muscles to be ready every every day for i don't know two practices every three days for some strong game, for speed recover and uh, speedy preparation for next game. And I think that's the big difference, let's say maybe 10, 15 years ago and now. But uh, the things about the countries that you asked me may be different because between Bosnia and Slovakia. But the thing is like this, in Bosnia and Serbia, those, those, those parts of countries, we start to work with the kids from the beginning. A lot of um, most important things for basketball, technique uh, and other things. But in Slovakia, the difference is that I don't know how they're working with the kids. But what can I see is that a lot of Slovakians are um, in, in the teams. For example, each team has to have one Slovakian on the court, yeah. if I'm right. Yeah. So normally you need to have at least four or five Slovakians in the team, which is really good for the players. But I don't know how they're working from the beginning. This is what I need to find out. Still, I'm here three months, so yes. I didn't see. So you think the biggest difference is uh, the working with the kids, also maybe at school and exactly. also exactly exactly. I think training. this is the this is the only right way. This is the only right way to to make make a player because normally each team has to have like let's say two or three. I don't know how to say it now in English, but. Home players, yes. players who, who, who start, uh, for example, let's say basketball school of players. Yeah. They start there, they work, they work, they work, and they become really good enough. They can play Slovakian league or uh, even some FIBA Cup, because all Slovakian teams are playing this. And they, if they're working and they, you have like three products from, from Previza, which is perfect for you, but this is really difficult thing. It's, it's, it's not easy, it's a lot of things, there's a lot of, yes. a lot of job to, to, to mm -hmm. make. Yeah. Uh, when you are looking right now of your thoughts about Slovakia, maybe Prijevica, the basketball in Slovakia, Slovakian league? No, not bad, not bad. I didn't know too much uh, when I was coming, okay, I know Marko Bartina, he, he was playing before, I know Prijevica because they were playing against some Romanian teams, but I didn't check that much about the league. Maybe some couple of games with uh, Nikola Gacesha, he when he was playing Levice, I was watching and I see the level is interesting. And uh, what can I say now? The, the, the exact word is interesting, really. Yes. Mm, there is some really good teams, really, really great, uh, let's say, foreigner players. Okay, there is some teams that maybe they don't have quality, but you don't know what to expect when you go there. Maybe you can beat them 20, you can lose 20. Yes. The thing is, the league is, the league is good. The league maybe need two or three more teams because I think nine teams is, is not enough. I think it's not enough for some strong championship. You need maybe twelve to make a better competition. Exactly, in the league, yeah. exactly. Okay. To make maybe twelve teams. Have you played with Slovaks before? You go to Slovakia, maybe in other leagues or no? I play the games. Against Slovaks. Against yeah, against. Slovaks. You, you don't have a teammate in Slovaks before you came no, uh, here to Slovakia. No, no. Slovak, no. Yes, but uh, that's my next, next question. Uh, but about the whole team uh, in your other countries or other teams where you have been playing, uh, what was the best teammate or maybe the opponent you've played basketball 
was for you, oh, that's a tough guy, you know, that's a good guy, or maybe this guy is not too much for me, like he must improve with you, so who is the best, maybe, teammate for you have been played for all of your career? All career? Yeah. There is a lot, there is a lot of guys who made the impact on my career, but some of them here in Slovakia, they don't know, but I can mention their name, it was one guy, Ranko Velimirovic, one of the best positions for in old, in old Yugoslavia, that was the guy who was finishing his career and I was playing with him and this guy learned me so many things on the court and still he's one of the, the guys who made the biggest impact on my career. And right now in Pirita, do you have one of the best team teammates or the whole team is for you like, difficult like family? For, yeah, I think everybody knows Nikola is my, my one of the closest, closest friends, Nikola yes. Gajcica and many, many years we are together and even some of, sometimes on the court, uh, when I just see him, we know what we are thinking about, and it's, with him is maybe the easiest. But the other guys also they good. I played with Ibra, with Gurmo before, so it, him is also easy. DJ also, we were together in Romania, we understand one each other. But Nikola is different because too many years we are. Uh, so right now we are going to the next question. Uh, we know about you that you are working with kids. You are working with a lot of uh, basketball also players, but the youngest players. So you have uh, your own basketball camp. Yes. Can you tell the fans of Previza and also our watches that yeah, 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 what yeah, yeah. is the camp of Zlatko Jovanovic look like? First of all, the name is Basket Friends. The thing is Basket Friends, something so okay. Friends like together because I have a lot of a lot of friends uh, from basketball, and uh, somehow five six six years ago actually uh, that came on my mind like I need to do something that after basketball I'm gonna stay in basketball. Maybe it was early to think about it, maybe maybe late you never know. But it was the moment, and I start think about the camp in my hometown Novi Beče. There is a hotel and a gym where is the national team of Serbia already 20 years coming for preparation. Even now they have contract for next five years. And somehow, like I said, it's a small, small town, but close to basketball. And I decided to start with, with these things. Maybe right now this is my, okay, except family. That's the biggest desire in my life, this, this uh, basket friends camp. Uh, I start. My first year, I just started with normal things, you know, trying to, to find a lot of kids who wants to come over there just to see how my plan will work. And on my surprise, it was really good. Maybe first year we got like 120, 150 kids. The, it was just one court outside. It was one really nice court inside in, in the gym. Okay, like very okay. But somehow in second year I start to work a lot and I build the courts. I build outdoor courts. Uh, I build one one court just for individual practices. And then now now this basket friends is like on fifth year and uh, we have let's say around three four hundred kids every summer coming. Uh, I have a team with the with the ten coaches. It's 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 really it's really it's really perfect. And what makes me proud is that. Uh, I think from each country that I play, I have a kid. So, Bosnia, Serbia, Hungary, Romania, now Iran, uh, even from Qatar, even from, okay, I didn't play in Germany, but I have a kid from Germany, from everywhere. And this is what makes me really, really proud. And each summer, like I finish the season, maybe I rest like one week, two weeks, you know. And, and you had the other season. Like yeah, exactly, the other season start, yeah. Yes. And, we will also wish you the best of luck for your you. best friends camp you. in other months and years and years. But if you look yourself to the future, do you see yourself as a coach? Oof. Oof. Difficult question, I mean. I'm talking even here with the, with the coach sometimes. Uh, I don't know. The, you know, right now, like, like a player, I think that's the easiest job. But I'm, I'm saying honestly, when you're a player, you're just thinking, Okay, I'm coming to practice, I'm going to put my shoes, I'm going to put my tape, whatever jersey, I go there, coach going to tell me what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. Yes. But to be a coach, I'm just saying, honestly, to be a coach, you're coming there and you have like 12 or 15 different brains. One guy is very stressed because of, 
I don't know why the other guy is stressed because if he's young, maybe girlfriend or yes, something. Yes. And you know, coach needs to to match up with uh, I don't know injuries with uh, too many games or uh, you know. I was thinking to be a coach. It's not that I don't want. I want, but uh, I'm gonna think one more time. You know, seriously, what I'm gonna do. But for sure, I'm gonna stay in basketball. That's 100%. It's like a coach, hopefully with the kids, because. Like I told you, it's senior you know, basketball and uh, too many, too many. Games. If you must choose right now, will be Zlatko Jovanovic in the future coach or no? Yes or no? No. No. Okay, right now. Right now. Yes. Okay. Right now, no. It depends on you. <laughs> Uh, toto bolo, dámy a páni, prvé kolo úvodných otázok a teda povinná jazda na Zlatka Jovanoviča a práve teraz sa dostávame do druhého kola a teda ideme na vaše divácké otázky. Ďakujeme všetkým, ktorí ste sa zapojili, či už na Instagrame alebo sociálnej sieti Facebook. Prišlo nám zhruba 30 otázok, čo je naozaj obrovský progres a takto vás vyzývame aj naďalej, aby ste posílali otázky ďalším respondentom, ktorí budú hostiami v Talkshow pod krídlami. Vybrali sme 4 najlepšie a teda Zlatko bude mať tú možnosť vybrať jedného z vás, ktorý získa dve vstupenky na nasledujúci domáci zápas. Zlatko, right now we are going to the fans questions, ok? We have four questions. Four questions, you must choose only one and the one you will choose will be the winner of two tickets for the next home game. All home game, ok? We're ready? Yes. You're prepared? Ok, fine, good. So, first question is from Pavel Bieli. Uh, and he's asking, uh, your biggest memories from career, season, game, moment? Oh, biggest moment, winning the cup last second in, 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 I think, 2009 or something, in Bosnia. That was one of the biggest moments. When my first trophy, like, like a senior, that was the last shot, three-point buzzer. That was one of the, let's say, biggest, nicest moments. From your career? Yeah, yeah. maybe. The second question is from Haitinka. And uh, he's asking, if you would have a chance to play NBA or EuroLeague, which team would you choose to play for? Maybe we say in the NBA and then in EuroLeague. In, uh, in NBA, I don't know. I'm not so crazy about NBA. Yeah, okay. So, but okay, NBA I like the most. Uh, LA. Not because now Kobe died and these things, but Lakers. Lakers, Lakers yeah, yeah okay. Lakers. Because I was growing up watching Lakers and those games. For me, Lakers and the Euroleague. Huh, if you talk, I'm biggest fan of Red Star, and the Red Star is playing Euroleague from Serbia. So Red Star is Red Star is Red Star. Do you, have, Red Star. <laughs> do you have maybe uh, conflict with uh, uh, assistant coach uh, Maro Jalmeti, which is uh, the it's partisan not fan? Here. Yeah, it's not here in the, in the team, there is a lot of uh, let's say partisan fans, partisan fans, yeah, Grobara and the. I just don't need to talk too much with them, you know, we are playing Euroleague, they are playing yeah. Euro Cup, everything is clear, and that's it. Everything's okay. Yeah, yeah good. Uh, next question is from Andres, and uh, he's asking, uh, do you feel some kind of pressure before the games? Honestly, yes. Honestly, yes. But I think this pressure is now like, like I told you, I'm playing too many years. I think you cannot play if you don't feel any kind of pressure. You, you, you cannot go to the job, you cannot go to play basketball, you cannot go to... I don't know to do what if you don't feel some kind of pressure. I don't say pressure like your your body is out, uh, you cannot think or something, but some pressure that you need to do something. That kind of pressure, yes, every time still. And I think until I feel this kind of pressure, I'm gonna I'm gonna play. When I when I start to don't feel and something like that, that means you don't have any more that desire. To it's play. something for you to keep you improve. Something like the that. Pressure exactly. That really exactly. Yes. When when you lose this sentence of. Of improving and yeah. you know this, this kind of that you want to win or to improve something when you don't feel it that that means you're out you need to stop it the last question is uh, from a woman and hanka is asking what would be your goals or ambitions okay. after basketball career and what kind of challenges or goals would you like to do <laughs> the first thing after basketball career is honestly i want to be the best father for my kid yeah this is this is something that keep me, let's say, keep, keep me posted. Like we yeah. said, like 24 hours, uh, uh, kids, this is something best on the life. And for me, it's most important to be the best father for my son. Hopefully, I'm going to have more kids. But for now, for my son, be the best husband for my wife. And uh, I don't know, some, this is most important thing for me. And maybe to improve something is 
I don't know. Just to stay in basketball if it's possible. And, that's it. Yes. and to be healthy also. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Vladko, this was uh, the fans' question. And right now you must choose only one. The so last, I can I can the last, one. the last one question okay yes. we cannot repeat okay the last, last one question last one, yes. okay so uh, Hanka is the winner takže Hanka gratulujeme ti vyhrávaš dva lístky na sledujúci domáci zápas kontaktovaná budeš teda súkromnou správou na sociálnej sieti Facebook alebo Instagram a ešte raz vyzývam aj vás ostatných aby ste si aj pre nasledujúcich respondentov pripravili ďalšie zaujímavé otázky a možno tak ako Hanka sa tešili z dvoch stupeniek na nasledujúci domáci zápas Teraz prejdeme k mojej obľúbenej rubrike a to budú rýchle otázky. Zlatko, the last thing of uh, this interview is uh, going to be the quick questions. I have to give you only two opinions, you must say only one opinion, okay? Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Football or hockey? Football. Beer or water? Water. <laughs> Chicken or beef? Chicken. NBA Euroleague? Euroleague. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Prievica or Handlova? Prievica. Partizan of Crvena Zvezda. Crvena Zvezda. Thank you very much, Zlatko. <laughs> Toto bol môj dnešný host, Zlatko Jovanovič, ktorý je teda bol účastníkom 5. dielu talk show pod krídlami. Zlatko, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank And you also much. best of luck for your career. Na vás ostatných a takisto aj našich respondentov sa tešíme už v nasledujúcom dieli. Nechajte sa prekvapiť, kto bude našim ďalším hostom, ale vedzte, že to bude opäť človek zaujímavý a hlavne teda z prostredia DC Prievica. Majte sa krásne, príjemný dobrý večer.